Hi, this is Red Tag Ross. I'm coming to you from Burbank, California, Adam Schiff's district. And this is my whistleblower campaign. Adam Schiff, you started talking about whistleblowers, and I thought, you know what, that's funny. I've been a whistleblower in your district who's been chased down for so long. I've been chased down for 20 years. Now they got a bill on me for $1.8 million, and I'm saying, Adam, stop. I won just like Donald Trump. I won fair and square. And Hollywood didn't accept it. They didn't accept the fact that I won a $6.5 million jury verdict. When everything was done, they vacated it. They vacated it, said it didn't happen, told me to go away, but everybody got paid. Everybody but me. That's right. And I am I'm asserting that Martina Silas, yeah, you got paid, and you got paid a lot. I won a $6.5 million jury verdict, and Martina A. Silas, she put a bill on me for $327,000. And she said, and if you ever marry your girl, I will come after her and take her house. That's what she said to me. That's how they keep you down in the state of California. Okay, well today, I did a video about the people that worked at the lab. And I'm gonna show it to you real quick. These are the names. Martina doesn't want you to see these names. You see that? She doesn't want you to see these names. Um, let me show you another one here. There's some pretty cool ones in here, really. Look at this one. Look at Re Rebecca Lynn Fields. Look at her. L wrongful death. Okay. Wrongful death. Now, I want to read to you. Think about the... I'm a laborer. I show, I show up. There could be a sewage spill. There could be... Uh, uh, a broken uh, pipe, there could be anything in the world, and the laborer goes in, and the laborer helps the tradesman fix whatever is there. Usually we do the dirty work, okay? We understand that we do the dirty work, but we do the dirty work in a fair manner. In other words, when I come in to do your dirty work, I want to know what I'm doing, okay? Well, here, I want to tell you what I was doing that I didn't know. This is them talking at Sidebar. And sidebars are very exciting. If you've ever been in a lawsuit, mine was 23 days long, okay? I had a $1.65 million compensatory, and I had a $5 million jury verdict. Poof, gone, poof, gone. How'd they do it? Vacatur. Two ways the California courts get rid of lawsuits that they don't like. And Bernie Bernheim is the star. He's the star of the, the show. But let's talk about the conditions here, okay? Hiles, against the jury, my objection is that irrelevant. There's no, there's never going to be any showing that anything to do with anything in the building other than two butoxy ethanol caused, my, caused any injuries or damages to these men. What relevance does it have to do with anything going through the film process? Ms. Silas, my attorney, says, it's the ventilation system, the court says. As I understand it, ultra-hazardous activity... Theory is that 2-butoxyethanol was being used in a particular manner that rendered it ultra-hazardous. Oh, really? It rendered it ultra-hazardous? Well, let me tell you what it was doing. The stuff I was using was labeled Absorb Cleaner. It was named as a warning because it absorbs right through your skin. So they give me a chemical that absorbs straight through the skin, take the labels off so I cannot read them. They took them off on the truck on the truck, before they even got off the truck, and I'm going, where are you going with the labels, Dave? He says, I take them to Eckhart. So they go to Eckhart. They're, okay, Eckhart Furman. Yeah, they go to him. He's the chief chemical engineer. Okay, so I think that's procedure. So he takes the labels off, absorb cleaner. So now I'm cleaning up all these cancer-causing chemicals off the black walls of the insides. Of this. These machines ran like a 1955 Chevy. That's right. Put it up against the wall. It's all black. The walls were black, and they gave me Absorb Cleaner to clean all the residue off the walls. And they gave me a white paper suit, and it would leak through the suit. It would soak your shoes. You'd go home soaking wet. You did four hours a day. The other four hours a day, I took out all their asbestos. Yeah, that's what I did. Okay, and here, the court. Okay, but in other words, in terms of ultra-dis- Ultra-hazardous activity, the focus is on 2-butoxyethanol, period, as I understand it, Ms. Silas. 
Uh, no, I don't necessarily 100% agree with that for this reason. If you have a landlord who has a building in which toxic chemicals are being used, irrespective of who was using them, there is a heightened duty for them to oversee that everyone in that building is being protected against that. I disagree that ultimate hazardous activity is, a, is narrow and one place of entry. That's one of, hold on. That's one of the, and then she gets cut off. You're mentioning, uh, where's murder? Is, is ultra hazardous only to the victim, Miss Silas says, Mr. Hiles. They could have been committing murder in the other room. This doesn't mean relevant everyone and uh, knows anything about two butoxy ethanol activity has to be the ultra hazardous activity. Just the fact, and then Miss Silas, I don't agree, Mr. Hiles. I know you don't agree. Okay, but I, I just the fact that chemicals are in bottles somewhere doesn't mean the court report, excuse me, I'll keep cutting each other off. Because if they handled with reasonable care, then it's that's not usually ultra hazardous. Now that's the point you're no, if they handled with with reasonable care. Think about what reasonable care is. It was raining on top of my head. And they watched it. Eckhart Furman, you watched it. Dave Carrasco, Eckhart Furman, and Jerry House, you watched it. Ultra has is raining on my head, and you told me to do it. Yeah, if and their lawyer, and this is their lawyer. That's what he says about the American laborer. It's okay with him. Okay. The building, Miss Silas, the building could not have been made safe. Just the general manner in which the building was used, just like the murder. Imagine. If there's a series of murders in the building, it's an ultra hazardous, is there ultra hazardous things going on in respect that one actually spilled it on Mr. Gannell on that? And then the court cuts her off. Uh, I, I give uh, Mr. Uh, for if you're uh, charging with murder. Now let's just stop right there. What in the hell are we talking about? We're talking about the people that you saw right there wrongful death. These people were dying in their frickin' chairs. They were dying in their chairs and you brought me in to clean it up. And then when I won, you tried to strip it from me. You did strip it from me and you gave me a bill for $327,000, Adam Schiff. You gave me a bill for $327,000 today. I owe $1.8 million. Is that what we do to whistleblowers? What about Proposition 65? Doesn't Proposition 65 protect the whistleblower? Who protects me? I want to know who protects me. Because Adam Schiff, it's not you. And you're going to get rid of Donald Trump under the same exact circumstances? He won. You have no reason to get rid of him and you're going to throw it out. I won. You had no reason to throw it out. You had no reason. It was fraud. All those people were dying in that facility. They were dying and you allowed it. And you know why you allowed it? Because there was four other film labs and you needed to keep those open, didn't you? Yes, you did. You needed to keep those open and you didn't want all those people to know what they were doing was ultra hazardous, did you? No, you didn't. That's right, Adam Schiff, you. You, you're the one. You are the one that needs to be censured. You need to be gone. It is unbelievable that the city of Burbank would allow you to represent us. That's enough. Bye-bye.